comments here, he's saying how he's getting, this is where you're feeling the discomfort, right? When you're doing yeah. your deads and squats or more of a dance? Uh, both. And it's a tightness. Is it more tight on the right than it is the left? Definitely. And then, so one of the things I was looking at, because when I palpate his spine here, he doesn't really have any major discomfort in the spine. Because often if you're having pain that goes this direction, it's a, and it's an entrapment of either like L5 or L4, and neither one of these points are really making him jump off the table. Often that tightness there comes from here. If the spine seems to be okay, I always check for a leg length difference if there is a, uh, a one-sided thing. So I had him kick his shoes off, and uh, come check this out. Come video, look straight down here. So like, if you, when I hold his feet here, can you see that the right one is actually significantly shorter? Come right down on the top, see? Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's like, maybe this much shorter. So, and then every time he stands up, the right hip is gonna drop a little bit because of the right leg, and then the left is gonna turn in, and that could be causing here. And um, do you mind Thomas standing up? Yeah. And, uh, so then, can you stand? Here, take your shirt off. Now look at your back. Not bad, not bad, okay? So now, we think Wright has a little short leg. I check the spine. He's straight, 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 straight. And then low back from like L2 to L3, it has a tiny bit of a shift that's caused, that, that's kind of causing here, okay? The rest is really balanced, okay? You can put your shirt back on. So what happens with that, Thomas, is like, here, here you are, right side, left side, okay. Right leg's a little shorter, way over-exaggerated, left leg here. This would be your hips, so what happens with you is your spine's like, hey, I'm gonna come off parallel, but it comes straight back here. So the pressure is going here, that's causing the problem in the hip, so, and what he wears are like really, really flat converse, so there's no support, so when he goes down, the right's gonna turn in more and might cause there. So what you might wanna do is just put some, get, wear those shoes, what are you doing? Those ones? Yeah, I know people like that contact, that contact, but I would be interested to see if you wore shoes with more support and did those exercises if it occurred. Okay. If it occurred, then this is a good call. And wear it on both sides? Yeah, or do you train in these at all? Not or really, not? I can't do them. Like what I got here, no, Brian Hardy's gonna go with you for massage, by the way. I don't know if he's here yet. Okay. Okay. I got these recently, because my, my, so I got something like this. They're a little too intense. Uh, but what you do is, need, yeah, you have to get shoes that you can pull the insole out. Like these, you, so you yeah. take this out and replace it. With these Under Armour shoes, I can't take the insole out, they're glued in. So this is a little too much. But you put them in both shoes. You don't just do one because your body's kind of used to it. Okay. I'd go online and order something that has a full length. Yeah. And then what you do is you take this out, put it on top of the thing, and then you cut it to match because they'll be really long, okay? okay? And you put take this out, replace it with that, okay? okay? So that's what I would do for Thomas just to start, just to see if we can even some of that out. And um, if you're getting shoe inserts, you always put them in both feet. You want a full length. This is called like a heel cup because it kind of keeps your foot there. The ones that are really just flat, they're just for comfort. So a little here, it's flexible enough, right? You don't want this super, super hard unless someone makes them for you, okay? So you can even start over the counter. Amazon is great. Uh, custom made are also good, but start with something cheap like this.